Hello all, this is Uzo and this will be my second Rated Solo QBG video. I am duo queued with Kragen, a Resto Druid for this BG. In my first video, I was on MM Hunter and I just stayed in the team fight. This one's going to be different. I'm going to be playing the objectives this time. If you recall in that first movie, there was a warlock that played the objectives and they were pretty much the reason why we won that BG. And I mentioned in that movie that it's very important to have players that are going to be really good in the team fight, but you also need players that are going to be playing the objectives. They are equally important for your team to win that match. Their entire team is here at mid, uh, or in lava. Yeah, I'm at the middle cart. I don't see anything coming after me right There's now. There's not, they, there can't be. Well, they have two rogues, but they're not coming. They're down yeah. there at that fight. Okay, so I'm using BGE there to keep track of their stealth. I know the rogues aren't coming, and what that allows Kragen to do is go to the team fight and help. If there were rogues stealthed, I would have let him know, you know, that I was probably going to get attacked, and he would be in a position where he could come and help. So I moved a water cart to help secure it. Remember, I had flipped it earlier when I ran through it, and I'm still keeping track of the rogues. And I noticed that the sub rogue is stealth now, so I let Kragen know that I might get attacked by the sub rogue. I might I'm have sapped. a sub rogue. I'm sapped I'm... at mid. I'm sapped at mid. Yeah, I was trying I'm... to come up there, but I got sapped on the way. So the sub rogue is just chain sapping Kragen, you know, way far away from me, so I'm pretty safe here. Um, one thing to talk about: notice that I'm saying really high into the cart because I don't want to get chain CC'd out of the cart. It's very important to stay high in the cart. Uh, you're going to see an example of why that's important a little bit later on. This card is clean. Okay, I'm at, still at the middle. You need help? I'm the only one at the middle. Oh, I'm coming Our to you. Our entire team has them at lava. Okay, yeah, I'm coming to you then. I might want to tag that card before it gets to your number. Yep. I'll go tag. Okay. Neon? Wait. Zap. Stunned. Coming. Fuck. Fuck. There. Darkness. Disoriented. Done. Done, dead. Fucking A, man. We've got top. And lava. We're going top. I need help. I had the rogue on me. Mm -hmm. I got another rogue on me now. Yep. He vanished. Oh no, there he is. Still top. Going to pause this here because this is really important. Remember earlier how I said I really want to stay deep into the cart, you know, at the top of the cart so I can't get CC'd out. But the uh, druid down there, and I don't want to place too much blame in this because I make a mistake. The druid down there is putting me in a really bad position because I want to stay deep into the cart so I can't get CC'd out. But he's fighting the priest on the outside bottom of the cart. So 
I have a choice here. I either stay back and maybe watch him lose that fight potentially, or I go down and help him and put myself at risk of getting CC'd out of the cart. Notice I don't have Trinket out. I decide to go help him and it really costs us badly. God damn, that's a long ass fucking fear. So two rogues add, and we lose that 3v2, and they take that cart. Meanwhile, Kragen had gone up to the water cart, but there was a Windwalker already controlling that cart. In hindsight, it probably would have been best for Kragen to actually completely abandon the water cart, come down to mid and help there, you know, sacrifice one cart to make sure that you capture the other. But of course, he had no idea that two rogues were going to, you know, open on me in the middle. What's on you? Fucking same monk that's been on me the entire time. You don't need to be here anymore. They capped it. No point in being here. I'll oh, help you. Uh, fear. Why didn't fear duration get reduced with the other stuff? Do you have a? I removed it. Go in the mid or someone. Okay, no one's gonna stay here. What's our team doing? They're not playing the objective anymore. Yeah, I don't know. I'm here by myself. I, I am here by myself against the yeah. priest at the middle cart. Okay. Our team has just decided not to even play objectives. I got two priests on me here. Jim, I'm the opposite end of the fucking DG. Uh... What are they, what's our team doing here? They're leaving us to, they're, like... I don't know. They're all fighting at lava, I guess. They never left the entire match. I don't think they've left. So I'm a little bit annoyed here because it is important for our team to win the team fight, but they need to be paying attention to what's happening at the off carts. You know, I lost a cart there 3v2 and then lost a cart 2v1. If I'm losing the cart based off of numbers, that is the fault of the team. I mean... Are we Alliance or Horde? We're Alliance, right? Alliance. I'm dying. Yeah, you're dead. Well, wow, such skilled player. Fucking A. Seriously, fucking A.
coming to you. I think we're fine here. I'd go to the mid. Well, we need this card to win, probably. I know that. Well, no, we need the mid as well. There they are, all mid. Oh yeah, I'm staying lava cart. Dang it. No, they're gonna fucking kill me. Hi. Hey, it works. It worked before. I couldn't hear. It was the problem. Oh. Oh, that's thanks. Yeah. Okay, I guess. How about you? So that match was a lot closer than it should have been, but you can see from the scoreboard what was happening here. You know, again, I don't want to be too critical of the people that were in the team fight because, you know, doing well and winning that team fight is extremely important for winning the BG. But you also have to keep in mind that you need people playing the objectives. Those are kind of the unsung heroes of the BG. They don't look good on the scoreboard, but I can guarantee you we would not have we would not have won this match if Kragen and I had not captured so many of those off carts. Now, our team had really, really high damage. You can see that. But take a look at the healing of the enemy paladin. The enemy holy paladin did 55 million healing. So you get huge damage like that when the enemy team has huge healing. Okay, so that is it for this one. Uh, take care. And actually, I'll have another demon hunter uh, video coming up it'll be in a b